Hello, in front of me I have Garmin VivoMove Sport and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with your iPhone. You can pair this watch with your iPhone in two ways. First method is to pair it during the setup process of your watch. So if the watch is new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see this Hello screen, that means that the device is uh, new or reset it to the uh, default settings, factory default settings. The second option is to uh, pair the devices via settings. So if your device is already set up, you can go to settings and from there you can pair the devices. First I'm gonna show you the uh, during setup uh, method. So we're gonna set up our watch and during the setup we're gonna pair the devices and then I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, via settings. Okay, so first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch. To turn on, on your watch, simply plug it in uh, to the charger or to the computer. After a couple of seconds, your watch should turn on. Once it's turned on, turns on rather, you should see the hello screen if it's the new watch. And once you see the screen, tap on it to continue. And now you should see the uh, list of languages. Here you can scroll through the list by tapping on the arrows. Now find the language you like to use on your watch and tap on it to confirm. I'm gonna select English, like this. And as you can see, now we have option called per now. So, um, we need to tap on it. And now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. To do it, let's open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on search, type in Garmin, uh, Garmin Connect and then tap search. Here we have the app, Garmin Connect. You can tap on it to select it, and then you can tap on this icon right here to install it. And once the app is done installing, you can tap on open button to open it. Okay, now you should see this screen. Tap on OK. And now we need to log in into a Garmin uh, account. You can also create a new account if you need to. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap right here. Select the boxes or check the boxes and then tap next. Now we need to tap right here, enter the email address. And then tap right here and enter the password. Once you're done, you can tap on next. But before that, as you can see, our watch uh, is not in pairing mode anymore. We can see the pair now option again. Tap on it again to enter the pairing mode. Then tap next on your phone, of course, to log in. Here we can allow the permission for notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the phone notifications on your watch, you need to tap on allow. If you don't want to use it, tap on don't allow. And here we can allow the permission for um, access to the data, like health data, basically heart rate, stuff like that for the app. You can tap on turn on uh, all, turn off all, allow what you like, and then tap on allow. And as you can see, the app detected our watch, tap on connect it, enter the code, for some reason, this pop-up window is in Russian. I don't know why. Uh, I have no reason. But let's enter the code.
then tap right here to continue 